I'm Shivali and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. For today's video, I'm going to be trying some rather unusual foods in the form of edible insects. So I ordered these insects from a company called Eat Grub and just went for a mixed box. So today I'm going to be trying out um, buffalo worms, mealworms, crickets, and grasshoppers. So if you're from the UK or even the US, it's likely you're thinking this is some kind of bush tucker trial or challenge or something. But Eat Grub's goal is actually to make edible insects a normal part of the Western diet. So you might be thinking, why? We've already got chicken, we've got beef, we've got fish, why do we need to eat insects? Well, there are actually a number of important benefits of eating insects. Insects are an amazing source of protein and require a fraction of the Earth's resources compared to traditional livestock. This includes much less feed for one kilogram of protein, as well as much less water. Insect farming also produces significantly fewer greenhouse gases than other livestock. So it's amazing they have all these benefits, but as they say, the proof is in the pudding. So there's no point of us going on about all these benefits if they taste disgusting. So rather than just trying them on their own, um, Eat Grub actually has loads of recipes on its website that incorporates insects into more normal meals. So today I'm going to be making four different meals um, using these four insects. So I'm going to be making a buffalo worm macaroni cheese, uh, a mealworm margarita, so like a cocktail that uses the mealworms, um, a cricket and bean taco, and finally a grasshopper stir fry. So yeah, they don't sound too appetizing right now, but I'm remaining hopeful. We're gonna head into the kitchen now and get cooking. I'm not gonna show you the full cooking process because I'm no Jamie Oliver, um, but if you wanna try any of these yourselves, I will leave the link to Eat Grub's website in the description box. Um, and leave all the recipes below as well. So let's head into the kitchen, get cooking, and see if I can incorporate edible insects into my normal diet. First up, I'm gonna make the cricket and bean taco. So I've got all my ingredients here. These don't exactly look appetizing, but maybe in a taco they'll look better. Okay, next up, I'm gonna make a buffalo worm macaroni cheese. I absolutely love macaroni cheese, but the thought of adding these little critters to it doesn't sound great. So yeah, let's see how this one goes. Next up, I'm gonna make a grasshopper stir fry. So I've got my grasshoppers in to soak there. I'm not gonna lie, they look absolutely disgusting, like they're floating on the top of a swimming pool. But once we've added all these delicious ingredients, hopefully they'll be a bit nicer. So I've made three insect filled meals now. Um, so for my fourth insect treat, I'm actually gonna be making a cocktail. So on the Eat Grub website, they have got a recipe for a mealworm margarita. Unfortunately, I don't have any tequila. We're in a lockdown, there's a pandemic going on um, and I couldn't find it in my supermarket. So instead, I'm gonna make a little bit of an experimental cocktail using rum, um, limes, mealworms and soda water. So fingers crossed this goes well. I mean, the alcohol's always gonna help. Um, and let's see how we get on. Okay, so I'm finished slaving away in the kitchen and I have got my 
three meals and a drink ready to go. So I'm not gonna lie, they don't look the most appetizing and when you're cooking with the insects, it's really hard to get out of your head that they are still insects. I think maybe if they were like ground down, I think you can get cricket flour on the Eat Grub website. That might be a little bit more appetizing, but I think once I've eaten them, maybe my, my uh, opinion will change. Obviously first, I'm gonna go for my drink. So I've made a kind of rum punch thing, but the rim here is made from, which plug is it again? It is made from mealworms. So I'm gonna try and get a part where I get a good amount and let's try. Wow, okay, that is boozy. The cocktail itself is delicious. I'm not gonna lie, the rim, which is the bit that contains the mealworms, does just taste like salt. I went with the recipe and did three part mealworm to one part salt, but... Yeah, it does just taste like salt. So, I'm not gonna say that's a bad one. Um, if you wanna try one, that could be quite an easy one to do, but I wouldn't really say it's bringing that much extra life to my cocktail, unfortunately. Okay, so next up I'm gonna try the, um, which one is this? This is the buffalo worm macaroni cheese. The bugs look exactly still like bugs despite the fact that they've been roasted and cooked in the sauce. I'm hoping that my life motto of cheese saves everything applies here. So yeah, let's try a bit with loads of bugs in it. Okay, in the same way that you really couldn't taste them there, in this you can't taste them. It's delicious, I love macaroni cheese, peas, delicious, good, but you really can't taste the bugs at all. Let me try another mouthful with more bugs. No, I can't taste them whatsoever. So maybe if you're like trying to get more protein in your diet and you want to add a subtle protein to your meal, this could be a good one, but I wouldn't be writing home about it and saying, you have to add this to your macaroni cheese. It saves it, it makes it amazing. Again, like that one, doesn't add much to it, but it's pretty inoffensive. The one I'm most scared about is the grasshopper stir fry. So the grasshoppers still look completely like grasshoppers. If I saw that flying past me, I would likely swat it away rather than think to eat it. But I mean, it's covered in sweet chili sauce and cashew nuts, so hopefully they save it. Okay, deep breaths. The, oh, look, just look at that on my fork. Mm, that's not saying eat me, but yeah, let's get some sauce and some cashew nut on that. Here goes my thing. I'm so sorry for the silence, but that took me so long to chew. That is not for me. It's still like really crunchy and really chewy. That took me a good 10 seconds to try and chew. And the only reason it's not disgusting is because of the sweet chili sauce and cashew nuts. No, that is absolutely not for me. And I think the fact that they look like massive grasshoppers still is what is killing it for me the most. Like, I'm not gonna serve that to someone and expect them to be like, oh, delicious. So yeah, unless you're feeling pretty adventurous, I would steer away from the grasshoppers, stick to something a little bit more subtle. But yeah, not, not a good one for me, that. Okay, finally, I have got the cricket and bean tacos. Now, th this one I was pretty scared of. The crickets, again, looked like full crickets. Um, but now it's cooked and they're kind of mixed in with the peppers and beans. It looks a little bit less offensive and yeah, I think it might be okay. Let's try. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. They add like a little bit of a nutty flavor to the taco. And they've actually got quite a nice crisp to them, rather than the chewy, crunchy crisp of the grasshoppers. 
I would actually say that those are probably my favorite, which is surprising. I thought Cricut was gonna be like bottom of my list. But yeah, actually surprisingly nice. Added a bit of crunch, a bit of texture, a bit of a nutty taste. So yeah, they're actually really nice. So overall, I've tried all four buds now. Not what I expect to be doing on my Sunday, but here we go. Um, I love the environmental benefits of them. It's amazing. But I'm not sure that they live up to the taste. I think I would much rather have even just veggie versions of these, if not another meat, whether it's chicken or a prawn or something. But if you're really trying to be more environmentally friendly and really trying to reduce your carbon footprint, this could be a really futuristic way to do that. I will say that they really, really aren't cheap. So if you see how small these bags are, I got four of these and this was $17.99. Um, so yeah, not cheap at all, if you, especially if you compare the same amounts to how much you pay for other meats. So, but I think that's the kind of thing that would go down in price if they get more popular. Um, but at the moment, I think they're doing a great job trying to make eating insects more normal. In other areas of the world, it's a completely normal thing to eat insects. Um, but yeah, I think it is gonna take some persuading to try and get us uh, Western people to incorporate them into our daily lives. And I must admit, I do still feel like I am in a bush, bush tucker trial. So yeah, I'm glad I tried it. And I think if you're a little bit braver than I am and you're really trying to improve your carbon footprint, then yes, go for it. But for me, it's not a yes for now. Anyway, that is all I have time for today. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then please leave me a like, leave me a comment. And if you haven't yet, then please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm trying to do daily, uh, daily, that's a bit ambitious, uh, weekly videos at the moment. Um, and if you have any more suggestions for science or technology videos you'd like to see, then please do let me know. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.